Big time win against defending champs. The Wallhawks look to keep soaring high with a very tough opponent in Cisco. Abilene took on Midland Lee on Thursday night football and it did not disappoint. We have the highlights coming up. And it's our game of the week. The Grape Creek Eagles visit the Cristoval Cougars and look to get even after a big time loss last season. Fox Football Live starts right now. Let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is week two of our show, but it's week one of high school football. This is Fox Football Live, and we are coming to you live from Cristobal, where they took on the Grape Creek Eagles. I'm Dax Gray, standing along with my co-host, Tim O'Brien. How you doing, Tim? Hey, I'm great here. What an unbelievable night. It was homecoming here at Cristobal. Not much of a game, though. They took care of business early and never looked back. So let's go to the VO of us flying high over the stadium. We were going high over Jack Party Memorial Stadium where the teams were warming up for the Cougars homecoming. It was one great homecoming for one team, not so fun for the other. We'll have those highlights coming up in just a bit. Well, you know what? We are here at the game of the week and we need to find out our fans of the week. Yeah, let's take a look at our three contestants for this week. and I should be the fan of the week because I come to every single football game and cheer the loudest for my brothers and my friends every Friday. Now it's real simple to vote here on Fox Football Live. You can go to our Fox West Texas mobile app, click on the vote tile, or you can go on myfoxzone.com slash vote to bring your top fan to the top and then you'll be your champions of the champions championship. So each fan will meet at the end of the year in a little bracket action. So during the game, there's the sounds of the game, and it's probably our best part of the show. Here's sounds of the game. Is Mr. Stan Van Hoosier, who is the principal at Midland Lee High School. The business manager, you and Frank him Robertson. and Abby and the business, George. The other business manager we'll is out. Alexis Verastigi and the chairperson. Where's Georgie? Get Georgie. Come on, George. You three and we're going out. Okay, they deferred, so we're getting the ball. Sir. We're going to kick that way. All right, so we'll be defending that goal. Everybody got it? Yes, sir. Okay, they deferred. So we're going to get get the ball. They're going to defend this end. All right? Yes, and then uh, you are doing the talking on offense. Y'all are doing the talking on defense as far as with the referees. Okay? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Is all you got for 48 minutes. 48 minutes, all you got. You got me? Yes, sir. Talked about it earlier. We're all going to eat tonight. Yeah. Okay? Defense, you're going to strut them up. Yeah. Offense, you're going to cook yeah. it up. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing on the ball. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Nothing left in the bowl. I love Mike Fullen. What a charge up. I'll play for that guy any day of the week. Let's go to the highlights from last night's game. Midland Lee's offense coming into Shotwell Stadium. Something to be feared. Big points last week. Can they do it again? Coaches meeting before the game. Both looking for a huge win tonight. Eagles looking for their first of the season. First quarter, Abilene with the ball, and it's quarterback Matthew Ezell. He's going to be uh, looking deep and make this a big game start off big. And he big is what he gets. Jazari Houston with the catch and touchdown. Eagles up 7-0 early. Abilene's crowd is loving what they see early. 
speeding it up here. First quarter, Abilene with the ball. Still in the first, the Rebels turn to spy, or excuse me, shine and quarterback Mikey Serrano. He finds Evan McMarion, who does the rest, finds Pater, and Midland is back in it. Seven all in the first quarter. The Rebels were not done there. Serrano is going to go deep for low kick. Fujaji for the huge 60-yard touchdown catch and score. Rebels running in circles, 14-7. And your Abilene Eagle showing that they are West Texas strong with the stickers on the back of their helmets in last night's game. But the only strong team on Thursday night was the Rebels. And right before the half, Seriano finds Fuanji again. He lays out for the points. Huge lead, 21-7 Midland at this point. But it all says Midland Rebels take this one. 35-21, the start to season off, 2-0 while the Eagles take another one on the chin and they fall to 0-2. Eagles will face off against their crosstown rival, the Cooper Cougars, next week at Shotwell Stadium, while the Rebe Rebels will host Montwood. Earlier today, the Cristobal Cougars showed their student pride and spirit, and our Phoenix O'Connor caught it all at the pep rally this afternoon. We had a chance to get there. I drove up here a little earlier today. They the, had the elementary school, K through eight, then nine through 12, electric. That gymnasium, you actually couldn't hear at one point. Your ears were ringing. That's how pumped up they were. And they showed up here tonight, each it and every a, one of them. It was a great game in the, it was great in the pep rally and it was an even better game on the field. So let's go to the highlights right now. The Cougars are trying to show the state that they're the team to be feared. First quarter, Grape Creek with the ball, and Jorge Rodriguez intercepted by Clayton Edmiston on the first drive for the Cougars, and they never looked back for the rest of the way. The very next play, it's our boy Braden Wilcox takes the ball, and he's rumbling and stumbling, and he goes untouched for the first score of the night. Cougars up 6-0. Next possession for the Cougars. Ball is handed off to Josh Fava, and he runs to the right side, dives in for the touchdown. Cougars go up early, 12-0, and the cheerleaders are absolutely loving it. Two scores quick in the first quarter. Still in the first quarter, Wilcox is going to throw to his right, and it's Bo Jolly who's going to make the crowd cheer with glee. He runs all the way to pay dirt, and the Cougars are taking it to the Eagles, 20-0, and it's only the first quarter. Now to the second quarter, and it's going to be Wilcox again. We told you before the game to watch this kid and now watch what he does best he is as good as advertised finds his way to the end zone that would all you would need to see for the first half for the rest of the game it was over quick Wilcox was just a beast in this game in the first half alone he had three touchdowns two rushing and one in the air he finished with five touchdowns the Cougars roll on homecoming 47 to nothing Cristobal sitting pretty as king of the hill two games Two wins, 87 points for zero against. Cristobal will travel to Van Horn next week while Grape Creek will play at home and host Rock Spring. And I'll tell you what, 47 points for zero against 87 on the year now. I mean, from all both sides of the ball, what do you do as a coach? Cristobal, there's very little holes right now going for this team. Just give the ball to Braden Wilcox. That's all you need to do. We have a lot more coming up on Fox Football Live. The Wall Hawks have a huge statement game last week against Mason. Can the Hawks do it again tonight? That's coming up. More Fox Football Live coming up.
I'm San Angelo Central football coach Brent Davis, and you're watching Fox Football Live. Fox West Texas was awarded an Emmy for excellence in news coverage and more news and documentary awards than any other station in West Texas. Everything we do is made to inform, engage, and inspire. Thank you for joining the conversation with us. The way we treat our customers is the reason why people continue to buy at Mitchell Buick Gym C. Where everything we do revolves around you. It begins with a welcome and becomes so much more. We don't just say we care, we show you with our dedication to you, your family, and our community every day. We live up to our reputation. It's a name you've trusted for over 30 years. Our commitment to excellence is the difference between ordinary and extraordinary. Come let us earn your trust at Mitchell Buick GMC, your hometown dealer. Kids are important. Let kids play. Let kids learn. Let kids imagine. Let kids dream. Let kids be kids. We know that your social media feeds are filled with stories that sometimes it can be difficult to determine what's true and what's false. That's when we come in. Our Verified team is committed to uncovering the absolute truth transparent and accurate reporting. We will work to paint an unbiased and accurate picture. But this is when you come in. If you see something that's too good to be true or just doesn't seem all that right, text us 325-487-85 and let our Verify team separate fact from fiction. Fox Football Live, presented by Dr. Pepper. Welcome back to Fox Football Live here on Fox West Texas. Earlier in the show, we had you vote for the top three fans of the week that we feature each and every week. So let's see how they're doing. Uh, let's go to the board. And it's your turn to vote, yeah. guys. Let's see who's in the lead right now. Remember, you can vote on myfoxzone.com slash vote or click on the Vote Now tile on my Fox Zone mobile app. And now to the highlights to the home turf of last week's Fan of the Week, Mr. River Subia. Huge crowd for the blue and orange filled the studio. <coughs> Excuse me. Central's home game opener against Del Rio. San Angelo Stadium was rocked and the students wore yellow to support their neighbors in Midland. <coughs> On the field is defensive battle in the first quarter, but until the angry hoarder decided to kick it up a notch and start off the second. Malachi Brown hands off to running back Chris Jackson, who takes it into the end zone. As you see, the score now 7-0 up against Del Rio. Just about two minutes later, Central gets a turnover, and they're already in the end zone. Malachi Brown passes to Christian Galbadon. And guess what? Right now, two down, more to go. Malachi with an over-the-shoulder on the 40-yard line to Tanner Dabbert. Putting the Bobcats in the lead 21-0 with three minutes left in the half. They'd go on to score another, making it 28-0 going into the locker room. And I think this is important just because of where they were, showed up last week in Colleen. The defense had to show up today, only giving up the 10 points, and they did just that. And that's what you get. Central rolls big, 52-10. And that's where we're going to go because... San Angelo Central will stay at home against Cedar Park while Del Rio will host Ty B next week. We'll keep it rolling. We witnessed them last Thursday at the Puncher Dome with a big time statement win for the Wall Hawks. Cisco touchdown. It was Mr. Callahan in the first quarter, but do not look fast here, Wall Hawks. Wall Hawks got the TD. Mason Fuchs to Kyle Herbert. Let's go. Back on the drive, you see. Since Dickey, he's going to pass back a little hook and ladder to number nine, quarterback Mason Fuchs. Cisco Lalobe, 93. He's going to be looking around the defense, and he's going to get the interception. And that's all it's going to write here. That's all we got on for our end. And guess what? It was a close one, but Wall pulled ahead to take the win. 
20 to 13. The Hawks will host Midland Christian next week as the Lobos of Cisco will head back home and host Breckenridge. Tight game. Wall needed a little competition tonight. They got it. They showed up. They proved that they're a serious state champion contender. Wall is 2-0 and, oh, and they have all the cylinders pumping. Can they keep the season keep going like this? We will find out. More Fox Football Live coming up after this. I'm Coach Kevin Sherrill from the Sonora Broncos, and you're watching Fox Football Live. Oh, Dr. Pepper! And rich, delicious Dr. Pepper. Cool robot. Thanks, but actually he's a cooler from the future. Wow. No, 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 touch. He's very cold. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, so nice to treat you. We specialize in getting you what you want at Mitchell Toyota. Our team of specialists makes the car buying process easy. They do more than just sell you a vehicle. I specialize in saving you money. I specialize in great service. I specialize in getting you a good deal. I specialize in getting you the right parts. I specialize in getting you the best rate. We have great people doing a great job and it's all just for you. We've been your Toyota dealer for over 30 years. Come see the specialists at Mitchell Toyota today. Man, I wish we had some. Oh, Dr. Pepper! And rich, delicious Dr. Pepper. Cool robot. Thanks, but actually he's a cooler from the future. Wow. No, 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 no. He's very cold. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, so nice to treat you. Welcome back to Fox Football Live. The Stone Bowl. Our Monica Coleman sits down with a couple of the coaches for Cristobal on how this legendary coach has affected their play and also on the field. Billy Barnett, former Cristobal High School football coach, Hall of Famer, passed away on Sunday at the age of 60. He's a, he's a special guy when it comes to Cristobal football, you know. His accolades, this, uh, they're, they're phenomenal. He's a Hall of Fame coach. Uh, he did some things in the six-man area that, that have never been done before. Coach Otho is the current Cristobal head coach and said this Friday Night Lights, when the athletes walk onto the field, they'll be showing their respect and love for the late coach with a special symbol on the back of each helmet. I guess it's a sense of basically just family, you know, just like a family member passing. You want to, you know, live on the legacy. You want to win this game for him, win every game for the same bird. We have bees uh, on the back of our helmet now. For Otho said it was important to him to install the values of Coach Barnett in the next generation so that his legacy can continue. Just kind of informing them, teaching them about, you know, their school's past and things like that, and then showing a little honor to them, you know, it, it kind of is special for the kids. Whether or not the students or faculty knew Coach Barnett personally, his impact in the community is one that lives in every Cougar. A bunch of the fans, they, most, most of the fans, you know, they were players and students they were taught and coached by him so you know they know what he would do they know his legacy went on I don't personally know but I know the fans that feed off of that they feed off of us and we just feed off the fans. For Fox West Texas Sports I'm Monica Coleman. Stand by. And the Cooper Cougars are taking on the Great View Mustangs and Cooper's coming out the tunnel hot. The first catch is going to be Cooper, and it's going to be tackled down there on the 30-yard line, but there is a flag on the play. Bringing it back, grapevine, Jacob Edwards. He's going to go ahead and take that pass, reel it in. The fans like it. They enjoy it. Play it, show well, play well. They're going to enjoy it. Cooper is not going to go away here. It's going to be Noah Garcia for the touchdown. The Cooper fans are going wild for that one. Remember that name, Noah Garcia. Second quarter, Aiden Thompson takes the snap, chucks it downfield. Noah Garcia reels another one in for the highlights. The Cooper mascot is loving it. Look at him. Look at him, the moves. He's great moves. Great behind Noah Garcia yet again. He is just putting on a 
highlight reel for the NCAA. Touchdown. Uh, look, look at them hats. I love those hats. <laughs> and the Grapevine dance team. I want one of those. Grapevine, Caden Keeling. Obviously down on the field, getting off the field less than three minutes from halftime out of a Cooper fumble as the stadium looks on, holds their breath, and hopes for the best. Abilene Cooper takes this one 42 to 14 over Grapevine. The Mustangs will host Northeast at home next week. While Cooper will fight for the rights for the best team in Abilene as they face off with the Eagles. And each week, you can't start your pep rally or your spirit week without your band. You get the drum line rolling, you've got the saxophones, the trumpets, you can just feel it in your bones and in your blood. On Fox Football Live, this week, it is your band of the week featuring your Cristobal Cougars. The way we treat our customers is the reason why people continue to buy at Mitchell Buick GMC. Where everything we do revolves around you. It begins with a welcome and becomes so much more. We don't just say we care, we show you with our dedication to you, your family and our community every day. We live up to our reputation. It's a name you've trusted for over 30 years. Our commitment to excellence is the difference between ordinary and extraordinary. Come let us earn your trust at Mitchell Buick GMC, your hometown dealer. All of your secrets. I used to wet my bed. Ross used to wear leg warmers. Your little man is brilliant. I still see this pediatrician. Chandler entered a vanilla ice look-alike contest and won. <laughs> Ross came in fourth and cried. Joey was in a porno movie. <laughs> Ross married Rachel in Vegas and got divorced again. But they love you anyway. Friends, five nights a week. Kids are important. Let kids play. Let kids learn. Let kids imagine. Let kids dream. Let kids be kids. Think all judges are the same? My son should really be here to represent himself. And you haven't met this one. You want to call him? <laughs> Judge Frank Caprio rules his courtroom like no other. We'll make a deal with your dad. If he takes you to breakfast, we'll dismiss the case. Can you handle that? Caught in Providence. Welcome back to Fox Football Live. We are here live at Cristobal Cougars Stadium, the Jack Party Stadium, and we have a special guest with us today. Yeah, we're with Coach Otho here of the winning Cristobal Cougars. So congratulations, great win tonight. Thanks, Way guys. to come up, you guys showed up, the fans showed up, everything was perfect from Jump Street. So congratulations yeah. on that. What, what do you say about your team, the way they came out, focused, prepared, and they literally, there was very few mistakes out there tonight. Yeah, I mean, like we said, the message all week was just to, to, to prepare to, you know, keep our preparation equals our separation. And I'm going to stick by those those two words right there. And uh, as long as we can do that and execute and do those things like that, I think we got a chance to be pretty good. And separation is the word here. You have two games, two wins, 87 points for, and zero against. I'm sure you put your head on the pillow at night and you're pretty happy right now, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no, that's pretty good right there. Uh, you know, that right there tells you how good our defense is. 
And you know, we talked about this on two a days. You were trying to do a little better on um, kind of like celebrating these wins a little bit and then looking forward to the next game. Uh, will you celebrate a little bit tonight, huh? I got about 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're almost there. Quickly almost before there. we wrap this, how do you keep the focus when you're up that big to kind of just everybody, you know, it starts getting sloppy, kind of sit back, get complacent. How do you keep everybody focused when you have such a big lead? Well, I mean, complacency is one of those you know, dreadful words you like you, right. you hear in the coaching, you know, in the coaching business. Um, once that hits, then it's it's no good for your team. So what we try to do in halftime is, you know, make sure we're staying focused and and you know get back to our game plan and just treat it, you know, coach talk is zero zero, but that's the truth. Well, cool. thank you very much, coach. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, guys. Have a great Congrats, coach. Week. All Take right, care. we'll see you. We had you vote all night long on the Fox West Texas mobile app and myfoxzone.com slash vote. We had your three fans of the week, and we are proud to announce from your Cristobal Cougars, your fan of the week is Azul. Azul! Azul! Azul Salinas, congratulations. You are Fox West Texas fan of the week. More Fox West Texas coming up right after this. Fox Football Live, presented by Dr. Pepper. Don't let internet contracts tie your small business down. Feel the freedom of Sudden Link Business. Get super fast 300 megs per second internet plus business class phone for our best price ever. No annual contracts. Stuck in a contract with another provider? No worries, we'll buy it out. More freedom means you can focus on what's important to you, like keeping your customers happy and keeping your business growing. Call 844-574-7060 now to get started with the internet provider that gives you more freedom. Plus, get a 30-day money-back guarantee and 24-7 support. Break free of internet services that tie your small business down. Call 844-574-7060 now to get our best price ever. It's way more than just business internet. It's the freedom to take your business where you want it to go. Feel the freedom of Sudden Link Business. Tell me how often it is you flip through your channels and find a local station that lets you join in on the conversation. Go ahead, I'll wait. Yeah, I didn't think so. Every day is different. Informative, full of personality, fun, energetic. We cover it all in a way you've never seen before. It's everything that's happening in your world that day. If you're not watching the rundown, you're missing out. Plain and simple. So don't be shy. Join the conversation. Weeknights at 6, only here on Fox West Texas. Welcome back to Fox Football Live. We are here with our player of the game. It is Russell Wilson. I mean, Braden <laughs> Wilcox with five touchdowns tonight. Hey, congratulations on the big win. This is two games in, five touchdowns last week, five touchdowns tonight. Total of ten on two games, two weeks. How does it feel going into this season? Now, you have another year under your belt. You're only a junior, but you're putting up these quick numbers. Uh, it feels good to know like I'm you know, only a junior at my senior year, you know, hopefully it'll be more and more each game. But, you know, the touchdowns and all just on the team, so I just want to you know, put that up there. Congratulations, Braden. Great I, game. It's truly so, impressive to see you put these numbers up. And, you, and I know yep. this won't be the last time that you'll be on this show. We can promise you that. Yeah. So keep doing Thanks what you're doing. Lot. Your size, yeah. your speed, everything looks good out there. So keep yes, it going. So it's time now to tell you where we will be next week. We are going to be at the Abilene Showdown. Cooper versus the Eagles. It's going to be a crosstown rivalry. We'll see you in Abilene next week. So that will do it for Fox Football Live, show number two, week number one. We'll see you next week in Abilene. I'm Dax Gray. This is Braden Wilcox, and that's Tim O'Brien. We'll see you next week. And I wish we had some oh, and rich, delicious Dr. Pepper. Cool robot. Thanks, but actually he's a cooler from the future. Wow.